I certainly appreciate a standard shovel. We use these extensively, especially for soil moving and compost moving and that sort of work. Uh, and even for herbaceous perennials, sometimes this is a nice tool to dig up and transplant. And they're very inexpensive. You can get these for 12 or $15. Uh, but the handles are not super strong. And for woody perennials with big root systems, they just damage the trees to no end uh, and really don't get underneath the root system the way they need to. That's where a tool like this is just so immensely important. If you have no interest of ever digging up a tree or a shrub, this probably isn't the right tool for you, but if you're starting a small nursery or transplanting trees or getting into the idea of growing trees and, and shrubs from cuttings and seeds, this might be a worthwhile consideration. Let me show you why I like this tool so much. Here's a tree I'd like to move. Uh, I'd like to open up this spot in the garden to do some other nursery work. This is a a seedling of a poplar of some sort where this tool works so well it's got a tapered sharp edge it is extraordinarily strong you can pry you can do a lot of different work with it but what I can do in real time I'll show you the process I can cut what I'm not doing at first is prying I am simply making a cut around the base of the tree a little pop here or there but I'll work my way all the way around you can see the angle of the shovel is such that it can get fully under the tree and very very cleanly cut the whole root system clearly not the entire root system but it makes a very clean cut on the roots and allows me to harvest a huge amount of the root system. If I give this a good soak and transplant it, this tree should do just fine. And this tool really made that quite easy, quite easy on the tree. Yesterday, I needed to dig a hazelnut out of a high tunnel that had been growing for two or three years. And you can see the size of this shrub. I have it soaking in a pond, so I didn't go into shock. We'll pull the leaves off of this to help it go into dormancy. Normally, we don't like to dig up plants this size when they're in leaf, but we needed to do that in this case. With the King of Spades, the digging of this hazelnut took me about a minute, maybe two minutes. Oh my gosh, that guy's crazy. Uh, I don't think I could have done this with another tool without really damaging the roots. Lenny, thank you for your assistance. <laughs> we'll put this right back in there to soak and wait till dormancy. There you go. <laughs> There are a lot of different versions of this tool out there. The one that we tend to grab the most frequently is a D-handled 13-inch blade. It's a very common one. There's also 15-inch blades. If you're doing lots of really large trees, having a 15-inch blade could be helpful. There's also 54-inch um, uh, straight-handled versions. We have one of those that we use for digging up bamboo and miscanthus because we can use a post pounder to cut through the roots with those. Those are specialty, but if you're interested in getting into this tool, um, the 13 inch blade with the D handle is incredibly nice. For what it's worth, this tool has gone through extreme use. We use it almost every day in the nursery for hours and hours. We've never washed these, I've never cleaned them, I've never sharpened them. This has been in continual use for about five years and it looks like this. This is my friend Jonathan's, which has been in use for 13 years. This one has a rubber handle and a step on it. And after 13 years of extremely hard use, uh, the surface is a little bit rusty, but other than that, it's in absolutely good shape. And I just invested in a fresh one so you can see what they actually look like when they're manufactured. Very sharp blade that's even sharpened at the very tip. And there's some more information on there. I want to be very, very clear. We are not sponsored by this company. We buy the tools that we work with. Uh, we just really believe in them. And there's the information of the website. This one was made in 22. So it's a fresh one. It will be dirty soon enough. So the King of Spades, highly recommended tool. Feels incredibly well made. 
13 years in with the oldest one we have. It's a little bit of surface rust, but it's absolutely as strong as it, the day we first got it. Um, it's a tool that I think would be an investment for multiple generations. So they're not inexpensive, but for what they offer, they're incredibly good. Uh, if you think you might be harvesting roots for medicine, like your yellow docks and burdocks and other big perennial root systems, it's a really nice tool for that too. So anyway, just thought I'd share. Ow, very sharp. And thanks for watching. Pretty helpful today. <laughs> That's another way to approach nursery work instead of using a tool, is just to use a fool. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Lenny has figured out today the fine art of digging. This is going to be the beginning of a pretty fun. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> Now he's first swim. Go get it. Go run around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lenny. Lenny. <laughs>